In this section, we're going to dive into the chain interface, which is a crucial component of the Gorex Orchestration API. The chain interface provides methods for interacting with different blockchain networks, making it easier to develop cross-chain applications. The chain interface acts as a bridge between your application and the blockchain provides methods to interact with the blockchain, retrieve information, and perform operations such as creating accounts and querying data. Let's take a look at some of the key methods in the chain interface beginning with make account. Make account creates a new account on the specified blockchain. Next is get local DNOM. GetLocalDenom retrieves the local denomination for a given token on the blockchain. And next is Query. Query executes a query to retrieve data from the blockchain. The chain interface simplifies the process of interacting with blockchains. By using the methods provided, developers can create accounts, retrieve token information, and query blockchain data efficiently. This is essential for building robust and scalable cross-chain applications. Next, we'll take a look at the orchestrator account interface, which provides methods for managing accounts and executing transactions across different blockchains. Let's dive into the orchestration account interface. The orchestration account interface provides methods to perform account-specific operations, such as delegating tokens, checking balances, and sending transactions. It simplifies interactions with blockchain accounts, making it easier to develop cross-chain applications. Let's take a look at some key methods of the orchestration account interface, beginning with delegate and undelegate. Delegate assigns tokens to a validator for staking, while undelegate withdraws stake tokens from the validator. Redelegate moves stake tokens from one validator. Get balances and get balance are useful as well. Get balances retrieves all token balances for the account, whereas get balance retrieves the balance of a specified token. Other key methods include get delegations, which retrieves all delegations for the account, and its counterpart, get delegation which retrieves details of a specific delegation. Similarly is get rewards and get reward. Get rewards retrieves all staking rewards for the account, whereas get reward retrieves the reward for a specified delegation. And finally send, which sends tokens from the account to another address. The orchestration account interface provides a comprehensive set of methods for managing blockchain accounts and executing transactions. By leveraging these methods, developers can build sophisticated dApps that interact seamlessly with multiple blockchains. Next, we'll explore the concepts of transfer and transfer steps. Now let's dive into transfer and transfer steps, which are crucial for cross-chain token transfers using a Gorex Orchestration API. Transfer message is a message object that defines the details of a token transfer. It includes information about the source and destination chains, the amount to be transferred, and the addresses involved. OrcUtils provides utility functions to simplify the creation and management of transfer messages. 
And make transfer message is a function that creates a transfer message with the necessary details for executing a token transfer. The make osmosis swap function creates a message for performing a token swap on the osmosis dex. Osmosis swap args and osmos swap option are used to customize the token swap process on osmosis. Understanding how to create and manage transfer messages is an essential component of managing cross-chain token transfers. The Orchestration API provides robust tools to facilitate these operations, making it easier to develop interoperable dApps. In the next section, we'll explore utility functions and variables, such as timers and oracles.